Recording is on. So Jesse, while you're queuing up your screen, I'll just for anyone watching, um, uh, Jesse was looking at integrating some of the work that he's doing um, with uh, figuring out how to to possibly. I think first you were you were figuring out Svelte stores for some of the um, stuff we're working on, but also thinking through like the the API with GitLab to actually send a commit back. Um, and we had talked on our last call about um, how you could integrate that with the Plenty project. And there was a the repository we were working off was half um, customized for my local environment and half you know for the last release. So um, we tried to figure out a way that we could get back to a commit that would work with the Plenty version that you have, but you're still having some trouble. So um, we're just going to take a look at that together. Yeah. Okay. So I was I got stuck in some. Mm -hmm. Problem here. Yeah. Yeah. Here's here's the error. Uh -huh. So, can I read property is out of the gate of yep. unknown? Yep. And so I'm looking at. Yeah. Just looking at your project structure, Jesse. I can already tell that the issue. So the the add ejected folder there. Yeah. Um, that needs to be all in the layouts for now. Like if you have the older version. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. That. Um, yeah, so, so basically, um, it didn't like that version of plan didn't know anything about like the CMS being in that ejected and it didn't know how yeah. to compile those or do anything with it. So, uh, it's just like there, I think um, there was an older version where that was all, uh, it was just like the CMS folder was in the, the layouts folder. Um, and maybe that would, but does the router work when it's, should I just move the CMS folder or the ejected folder? Yeah, so it would just be the CMS, and the other thing is it was a little bit different. So the um, the router was not ejected at all, and then you needed like um, oh. like your own like like entry point file. Again, uh, th there is a new version um, of Plenty. There's um, I just released it. It's zero five, um, and that can start should start being able to work with the ejected actually if you wanted to to do something like that. So. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that. A refresh, probably. Yeah. Um, no updates. I forget the commands. Is there a? Oh, you have five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So actually, so yeah, I guess. Sorry. Now that I've had you, you moved. Oh, oh no, you didn't move. You moved back. Okay, perfect. Um. Yeah. Try, try that because I think it should work. Although I haven't tried this with the old repository, but it should. Yeah. Work. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so there's something happening here. Hmm. Can you try something for me? Can you um like go like out of this project and start like a fresh plenty project? I just want I'm curious what happens yeah, if you do that. I can do it. Okay. Um, so plenty so new plenty new site and then whatever, yeah, whatever name you want. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. Perfect. And then go inside that and serve that. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, there's the bug with my console. Uh, yeah. Um, and then do a plenty serve inside here. Okay, can you take a look at that site? Let's just take a look. So, so this now has an admin page. Can you go to the admin page? Let's see if this works for you in general. So click there and then try the login. Oh, actually, you're going to have to set that. Yeah, go ahead. You can get an error if you want, if you want to it, but you have to, um, you'll have to set uh, oh, the, like yeah. the actual OAuth ID in your, yeah, so in plenty.json there is a, and we can use it here. Yeah, I can, we can use the one that we've been using um, for now. Let me, Let's see if I have that somewhere. I can just chat it to you. Um, dang it. I don't have it in here. Do I have one? No. Um, I'm trying to think of where I would have last had that. Um, I probably cannot get it from the from GitLab. Oh yeah, why don't I just do that? That's the easiest thing. I was gonna look up an old project, but that's you're totally right. Let me. Oh wait a sec! I have to answer the door. Okay, sure.
And applications. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, cool. All right, I have the app ID here. I'm going to chat it to you. And again, if you want to um, do your first login on GitLab without sharing your screen, then yeah, feel free to do it like this so, uh, so the recording doesn't see your username or anything like that. But I'm going to chat you the um, the app ID. I don't care if that gets exposed. Um, that's totally fine. Mm. No, I have it. So yeah. I can... And you're sharing, you're sharing your screen right now. So uh, FYI, if you don't want your... Um, username on the recording just stop sharing your screen for a second when you do the login and then yeah okay it's up to you it's up to you yeah probably i don't uh, well is it just email yeah it's just your email yeah but... so it's public anyway in github sure so why not And this seems the user account, user's API, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. oh, and it looks like there's some, maybe a little bit of, okay, so this basically, just, I just threw up a top bar up there to, to indicate that you're yeah. logged in, right? The home icon looks like it's a little messed up, maybe. Um, that was usually, that's okay. Um, I'll fix that. Um, yeah, and then- I'm Using Firefox. Uh, okay. Um, okay. And then you can log out. So logging out the on the right hand side, that'll just basically destroy the the token. Um, yeah. But okay. okay. So so that's generally working. Okay. So then I guess um, going back to like that project in your code editor, um, you can start ejecting things if you wanted to. So you could do a plenty eject if you just type that. Plenty eject. Yep, and then you can choose which file. So you can start with any of those files if you want to start working off those files. But that should be basically how it's pulled into the project. Um, uh, so you can getting... authentication file here. Um, so now the auth stuff oh. is all in. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then basically it creates the user stuff in the router. Um, so at the very bottom of the router is where we start like checking, you know, creating the yep. user object and things like that. Um, but... Yeah, other, other than that, it's pretty similar to what we we're working from before, except it should actually work. Oh, wait. Uh, you, yeah. I can probably select multiple. Where does it say that it's selected? Um, so right now, right now, it's only like a one at a time. What you can do is you can do plenty uh -huh. eject and then just type out the files. You can type out a bunch of files and, and that would do the same thing. But right now, it's like one at a time. You can just eject them one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a little, maybe a little clunky there, but. Um, no, the two files here. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so that, that might be a good starting place um, instead of the, the repo we're working off of, because that would actually work. Um, yeah, and it should, it should function the same. Yeah, and if you throw like a throw a console.log or something in one of those, you should, you know, see it, I would imagine. Um, and then actually with this, so you, so this oh. is an interesting thing, actually you have to, yeah. So, and this is another thing I should improve the ejected, um, folder does not look for changes. So you have to kind of manually do that, which is a pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, mm. uh, so I could, I could update that at some point. It actually should look for changes in the ejected folder, but right now it's just not doing that. Um, but I could do that pretty easily actually. Maybe I'll do that in my next release. Space in quirks yeah. mode. Yeah. That's another bug that I have with plenty in general. Um, yeah, so quirks mode is basically it's not getting a doc type, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's a there's not a header error. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Ex exactly. Yeah. So so that's something I have to fix um, as well. But um, yeah, maybe this will work as like a new starting point. What What do you think? Should yeah. we just create like a new repo and, and push one of these um, up? Does that work for you? Yeah, probably. Why didn't it work? Um, I'm not. Previous version. I'm not sure what's happening with that one at this point. Um, 
Do, does it register somewhere that it has ejected some files? Um, so it should know, like basically the new version, the 05 version they have should know, it should check like if it's ejected. So if it's ejected, yep. then it'll, it'll look to this file um, on your file system. And if it's not ejected, then it'll get the one that's embedded in the, in the binary. Um, I don't know, like, I, again, I haven't like reconciled where this project is with like the new version. I could do that if that's helpful. Um, or if you want to start, is it hard? Have you put a bunch of like changes in here that are going to be hard to transfer over? Is that a concern? Yeah, I can. I think we can start from the new version. Okay. The new site. Yeah. I just feel like that might be a better base since that's kind of like what's in the, the project right now and we can work off that. Yeah, true. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I guess um, in GitLab, just, I mean, we can create a new repo. I don't know if you have access. Do you want me to create a new repo with the, the base project and then just, you know, add you to it? Um, new repo for no, no, actually, we can work on the same repo. I just add a new commit with the new files. Okay, sure, that works. That works for me. Um, cool. So, does that seem like a will, will that resolve kind of the areas you're hitting and then give you a, a path forward with the stuff you're working on? Probably, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know why it was doing the error, but. Um, yeah, I could look into that. Um, I just, I figure if this gets us clean, then. There's probably, I mean, there. so there's, you know, I that the, the repo you're working off of was like half there and so i started moving everything into like certain props that come from the router and then if i haven't moved those there then maybe they're not getting those I, i'm not sure exactly is what's it, happening it's, is it because the auth file was a svelte file it, it could be that too um yeah so there's um i switched those over so it, at one point it did work with svelte files and then i realized what's the point of com, um, compiling these since they're just um yeah. exported modules anyways they, mm. they should just be js files so i, I switched yeah. that at one point that could be part of it. That could be part of it. Because the router is looking for those files now. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, right? So uh, if there's not like a one-to-one -one mapping and we're importing a JS file, then that could be an issue too. Um, yeah. I don't know. I feel like as far as I'm concerned, I don't, you know, I don't necessarily care about debug since that was just a placeholder repo anyways. Um, it doesn't matter to me what's happening in that one. Um, but I'm just curious about oh. the master bug. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're curious, I mean, you can take a look. There could be a, a couple of things. I could take a look too. It'd be easier for me to just like, you know, pull it up on my computer and, and take a look. And I can just, uh, I can make a commit or whatever, um, if that's helpful. Yeah, but, let's see if it works now I can well it didn't but yeah hmm. I'll look into it yeah. okay yeah I wouldn't be overly concerned with it unless you're just doing it for your own curiosity um I would I would just start from like the fresh base and that way we can um you know things will be working in the way that plenty is actually going to be working going forward and then we can just add from there you know export any file you need um and then into the ejected file system and then we can you know yeah. Um, now keep in mind adding new files to the ejected file system won't so first of all every time you make a change in that file system you're gonna have to restart your server i'll fix that so you can do that later in the next version um yeah. every file that you add there won't be picked up so the ejected file system only looks for files that it expects it says hey these are the things i'm holding in my ejected file system and if you add other things there it's not going to necessarily know about them that might be a, that might be another thing that i can improve in the future too that'd be kind of cool if you could extend it however you wanted um mm. But right now it doesn't work like that. So just keep those things in mind. So you're probably going to have um, maybe a little longer files than you would expect, just like by throwing things into the thing. And we, we can reconfigure that as we go. So don't worry too much about like format or that. Um, I would just say uh, work off the base project that's working um, and try to extend it from there. And, and let me know if you have any issues. And I'll, I'll help you yeah. figure out what's going on. Good. Cool. Yep. All right. I'll, I'll stop the recording. <laughs>